Number 12, um, A and B, we're going to be doing some, <coughs> some ca uh, calculations using density. So we will be using the equation density equals mass divided by volume. All right, so keep that in mind. Here we go. What is the density, okay, the density of an 84.7 gram sample of an unknown substance if the sample occupies 49.6 cubic centimeters? Now, because I'm trying to solve for density and I'm given a mass and I'm given a volume, I should be able to simply plug these straight in to my density equation and calculate. This is what's known as a plug and chug problem. It's one of the easiest problems that, that we'll have. Okay, so the calculation here is not what I'm getting at. I'm hoping that you are remembering this density equation. This is the big deal right here for A. Now, <coughs> out of all the densities you've seen before, they, they do have, some will have the unit grams per cubic centimeters, but in terms of having this number on the denominator, what's to do with that? Well, all we have to do is actually carry out the mathematical function there, which is division. So I'll get my calculator back in the screen. I'll go 84.7 divided by 49.6. And so my density, after a little bit of simplification, is going to be 1.71. And um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of, of rounding with that number in the calculator. Uh, we haven't gone over those rules yet, so don't sweat that. But we're going to go 1.71 grams per cubic centimeter. Now, when we do kind of free response questions like this, where you have some just some space to do calculations, please get in the habit of boxing out your answer. It makes it easier for me, and it also makes it easier for you to make sure that you actually answered the question. B, a little bit tougher. What is the volume, or sorry, what volume would be occupied by 7.75 grams of this same substance? And so we have a density of 1.71 grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so we have that. Okay, we have that density. But if we have 7.75 grams of that substance, what is the volume going to be? And so the, the equation I'm going to use here is... Um, this is to this as that is to that. So I'm going to use uh, that basic setup. So 1.71 grams is to one cubic cent or sorry, cubic centimeter as 7.75 grams is to x cubic centimeters. Now again, if these are both the same, okay, even though like obviously 7.75 is not the same as 1.71, but if the ratio, because see these are both being divided by something, these are both being divided, and so even though this value is ballooned up, as long as this value is ballooned in the exact same ratio, these ratios will remain the same. And so I'll do some cross multiplication. So I'll end up with. Let's see here. Um, got 1.71 times x. Okay, that's that's my unknown. 7.75 times one is actually just 7.75. I want to solve for x. My good old-fashioned algebra skills. That cancels out. So x is going to be equal to. Get my calculator back here. 7.75 divided by 1.71. And again, uh, for reasons we haven't gone over yet, I'm going to stick with three significant figures. Um, and so I'll report an answer of 4.53 cubic centimeters.